Sorry to keep you waiting. Want to be a winner as you? Welcome to the Route to Victory Road, a podcast that chronicles our journeys through the main series titles of the Pokemon franchise. I'm your host, Pokemon Professor Mackenzie, and I'm joined today, as always, by my wonderful partner and co-host, Jaylee. Hi, Mackie. Hi, Pokemaniacs. Welcome to this sode of the cast. I did it without reading. I'm trying to be cool. Yeah. I'm so glad. That was pretty good. I'm proud. I even remembered how, You're like, growled. It's, I'm growled. <laughs> <laughs> I, I even, like, remembered how it's, like, so slightly different. So this podcast is special in that it's our first recorded video podcast. Oh, no. And if you're watching on Patreon, you'll probably get this a week before everyone else does on YouTube. Depending on our editing skills this week, but... <laughs> And, uh, yeah, you'll definitely hear the audio version first, but the, or I don't know, maybe not. What are we doing? How did we do this? We didn't, we didn't even discuss. We didn't even discuss this, but that's okay. That's okay. How do you, if you're hearing the audio version and you haven't seen the video version, the video version is coming. (laughs) And if you're on Patreon, you probably saw it before everyone else. There we go. And if you're not on Patreon, why not? Yeah. I just realized... Doing this in video is going to be so weird because I play with a lot of things. Yeah. I'm always fidgeting and I'm always holding something. We're going to have to like learn to be like more still and stuff like that because I, I like to like rotate my chair yeah. and stuff too while I we're talking. I always have like and... things in reach that I'm playing with. I'm, oh. And they're actually going to like see. Oh no. This is my podcast all of our journal. Secrets. This is where all my notes go. Like, the, oh, this is exciting. We get this to share this strange. with people. We will share it on Patreon. And probably share some clippets and some funny things on YouTube and yes. Instagram and TikTok and all our socials. We don't have a YouTube yet, but we will. Right. Let's start one. Hmm. Right now. Right now. Do it live. Live on, on YouTube. Before we get started on Pokemon this week, did we want to talk about Game Corner? You have a Game Corner, probably the same Game Corner, because you've really only been obsessed with one game. <laughs> Netrunner? Netrunner. Yeah. Which I like it a lot. And it's it's rare that I like a game as much as you do. So hopefully this will turn into something fun. Because I hope so. we played another round of it and it's making a lot more sense and we're finding new exciting cards. Yeah. And it's really fun. We've been watching a lot of videos on it too. Yeah. And I went and got our card sleeves. So now they're oh, all yeah. sleeved up. <laughs> which will make it easier to not damage cards <laughs> i wasn't really worried about it but i just i want to be playing more so shuffling more and then yeah fun fact about mac is he's got literally thousands of card sleeves yes i do everywhere thousands. all over maybe tens of thousands maybe <laughs> it's an atrocity but we also have another big game coming this week and i want to sleeve it up so nice okay yeah. That's the Firefly game. Oh, yeah. Sleeve it up. Yeah. So it's good that I have lots of sleeves because that's going to be a lot of cards. Count me out. That's That sounds that's like okay. a, you, a you thing. Have lots of fun with that. I'll put Pokemon on and... and I like it. Sleeve the sleeve cards. Sleeve it up. You'll sleeve it up. <laughs> sleeve it up. Okay, so we're going to talk about Pokemon? Let's talk about some Pokemon. <laughs> we start this week in Goldenrod City and... We just had to bury our drowsy out back behind the department store. That's not too sad. Did they let you do that, or did you just I, pick well, a place I, I to just kind of did it. Oh. I figured if they stopped me, it's like, well, you know, I'm burying my pet that your freaking gym leader murdered in cold <laughs> blood, so I think maybe you can let this slide. Ouch. It wasn't even my pet. Like, he was my buddy. Ugh. It was my... It was a... He's a tapir standing on two legs. You can't be friends with a drowsy. <laughs> They're not good friends. They help me sleep at night. That's why I can't sleep now. <laughs> the drowsy. My mm-hmm. drowsy passed on. He just like takes your dreams. Yeah. Yeah. I ran immediately back to the flower shop that's here in Goldenrod. And I got the squirt bottle. Nice. I forgot about that. So you told me to go do it and I did it. Yeah. And that's how we play these games. <laughs> that's how i play pokemon is you tell me what to do and i'm like oh yeah i forgot so i gotta go do it i replaced drowsy with oddish and then i continued on i'm not mad about that that seems like a fair trade-off i don't like drowsy 
Uh, I taught Oddish cut and immediately realized that that was a mistake and should have taught it to Bellsprout. Why? Because Bellsprout has the higher attack out of the two of them. So cut doesn't do the same amount of damage? No. it Because it's a physical move. Oh. So because Bellsprout has higher attack than Oddish, it would have been better on Bellsprout than it is on Oddish. But whatever, it's done. Oddish is the one that has cut, and Bellsprout does not. And then I wrote, live and learn. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good lesson for this whole journey of Nuzlocke. Yeah. Uh, we get up to the National Park. Did you go and redo the National Park on Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday? No. No? Maybe. I don't remember. No, I don't think I did because I was trying to get my bee drill back. Yeah. But I never did. I never found one. Unless I caught one of these things in there because I didn't write down, of course, I didn't write down where I caught them. So uh, I can tell you what you can find in here and you tell me if any of them. Let's do it that way. Okay. So in in the like the bug catching contest, you can catch Caterpie, Metapod, Pidgey, Hoot Hoot, Sunkern. Uh, oh, no, that's not the bug catching contest. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't go back and do the bug catching contest anyway. That's just the national park. Oh, you didn't? No, I didn't. Okay, because you can't catch Beedrill outside of the bug catching contest. Oh, I really want a Beedrill. Yeah, the, so what I just read to you is the national park. So that's during non okay. bug catching yeah, contest I went, time. I went in there during the non bug catching time, but I still didn't catch anything. Okay, okay. So yeah, then scrap it's all it. Good. I didn't do anything. Okay, no problem. Did failure. you fight any of the trainers in here? There are yeah, four I of them. Yeah, I fought them all just for experience. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. There's Pokefan Beverly, who's got a level 16 snub up Pokefan William, who's got a Raichu. Awesome. Love Raichu. Yeah, he's a cool dude. School kid Jack has an Oddish and a Voltorb, and we'll give you their number. Last, Chrissy has an Oddish and a Cubone, and also we'll give you her number. Cubone. I think. Beverly also gives you her number. Probably. Uh, I didn't write it down, so I can't remember. <laughs> uh, but I think that's right. I think Beverly has called me once or twice. Oh. Uh, Route 36 is to the east of the National Park. Okay. And it's just like a quick little whoop, 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 and then up into the trees where the Sudowoodo is. This yes. is where I caught Execute last week. Yes. I caught somebody here last week, too. Um, I don't remember, but... Okay. We already talked about this. Uh, I don't know if you talked about who you caught here. So, the available Pokemon in this little patch of grass. Pidgey, Hoot Hoot, Nidoran Female, Nidoran Male, Growlithe, and very low chance of running into Stantler. Can you catch Stantler anywhere else? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I caught a Stantler, but I don't remember where. You probably caught it on Route 37, I think is the next area. But I caught something to. else, too, and I don't remember where. I gotta start making better notes. I'm sorry I failed you. That's okay. <laughs> you didn't fail me. You don't have to, you don't have to worry about it so much. <laughs> so this is where I caught Execute. Yeah. Uh, we also fight Sudowoodo here, and we cannot catch it. It is a level 20. And it's got Flail, Low Kick, Rock Throw, and Mimic. Yeah, this wasn't a problem. I don't remember who I used, but it was easier than any other pseudo wudo I've ever faced in my life. It was tough for me. Really? I used Oddish and Bellsprout against it. And that was my saving grace, is that when I used Bellsprout, it used um, Mimic. No, wait. Actually, it was Totodile. Totodile was out, or Croconaw, sorry. Croconaw was out, and it used Mimic on my water gun. And I was like, oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Keep hitting me with that water gun, I feel like water I gun, used buddy. my, like, whooper. The same thing. Yeah? Yeah, you have a water Oh, gun. yeah, you have a whooper. <laughs> you yeah. do that every I know, episode. I know. It's you so exciting. Whooper? It's so exciting. <laughs> Whoopers. You, you used whooper in the first I time love around, whooper. too. Yeah. I never caught a whooper. I got a stupid Ekans, which is an Arbok now. But oh wow, fancy! Yeah, pseudo wudo. <laughs> pseudo wudo. Yeah, was using water gun against you. Yeah, and that made it easy because after it like hurt my Oddish and my Bellsprout enough for me to withdraw them, 
it was I was like, oh crap! He keeps using these rock type moves, and then I used water gun against it, and it was like mimic, and I was like, okay, and then it was like water gun. And Bring I was it. Like, you're water gunning a water Do type. Do your best. <laughs> yes, yeah, stupid. So, so then it was easy to tree. kill. And then I killed Sudowoodo. I wanted to catch it. Yeah. But we get the berry pots. That's exciting. I forgot about those. Oh, yeah. Oh, I haven't done anything with them. They're four pots, and you plant berries in the pots, and then you carry the pots with you, and they're just berry trees on the go. It's awesome. I haven't awesome. planted anything. I put them immediately into my second registered spot, but it got supplanted as soon as I got to Ecruteak because we get the dousing machine in Ecruteak. And so I was like, oh, well, forget about the berry pots. Here goes the dousing machine. What? I'm so lost. Okay, so these berry pots were important enough for you to put them onto a button? Yeah. Oh, I didn't... Because you got two in this game. So I have the bike. Yeah. And that's all I care about. You can register a second item and it'll show up right underneath your bike. Why do I want that? Because then you can access it from the touch screen. <laughs> okay, so got my bike. I feel like my berry pots I don't care about. What is a dousing machine? The item finder. Why is it called a dousing machine? I don't know. Nobody That's knows what, what that means. That's so... You don't know what a dowsing rod is? Is that like a metal detector? It's, well, for water, but yeah. But I'm never using the item finder in water, so why did they call it that? I don't know. I it's so just called the dowsing questions. machine. But it's an item finder. I don't have it. Do I have oh, it? I don't know. Where it's, do it's, you get it's it? It's in one of the houses in Ecruteak. Just a guy will give it to you. He's like, do you like hunting for treasure? Oh, yeah. Oh, I did get it, but I didn't know what it was. It's yeah. the item finder? It's the item finder. Oh. And so what you do is you put your stylus onto the touch screen, and it'll be like this little circle. And you'll get beeps. And oh, I have to turn the audio on? No, not necessarily. Uh, you'll get like these, like this, like these lights at the edge of this compass that you've got, where you've got your your touch pad. And then, if you get close to an item on the ground, as soon as you start using it, you'll understand what I'm talking okay. about. Okay, I guess I have to do this. But once Oops. you. Once you start moving around, if you're close to an item, then the four lights on the outskirts of the little compass will all float to the same side of the item finder to point you in the direction where the item is. This sounds very technical. And so then you like start moving your touch your your uh, stylus around on the touch screen to search around you where the item is, and it'll show up like a little radar. And it'll be like a like a the essentially your like where your stylus is touching is like a little like a, a circle of light. Mm -hmm. And the light will get hot. Like it'll go like okay. red, orange, yellow. Oh my god. Yeah. This is this is too much. We'll play with it it's after insane. after we're done recording and you'll see what I'm talking about. But the item finder, very useful. Berry pots, very useful. I'm very happy for both of those things. I'm making like person berries and stuff like that. Okay. Person berries, if your Pokemon is holding it and they get confused, they eat the person berry and they're not confused anymore. I need a million of exactly. those. Okay, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Making mental notes that won't go anywhere because we know my brain doesn't work. And my mom keeps buying me berries with my money. Take your money back. Don't give it to her anymore. No, no, no. This is good. Oh, never because mind. Because now I grow them. And like, uh, for example, against Whitney, if I was thinking, I could have grown my cassib berries. I think that's what they are. Cassib berries? Anyway, there's a type of berry that when your Pokemon is holding it and it gets hit by a normal move, they'll eat the berry and it does less damage. Oh. So if I was thinking, I would have done that. <laughs> Can Pokemon still only hold one berry at a time? Or maybe Cassip is ghost. Yes, only one berry at a time. Hmm. One of the berries is... There's one berry for every kind of move. Oh my god. Okay. Uh... And I could have used them this week, and I wish I did. But we'll get to that. Oh no. I'm scared. I wasn't scared enough. <laughs> I, just after last week, I said I was going to respect my... Yeah. My opponents from now on, and I immediately didn't. <laughs> okay, but to be fair, after Whitney in the last game, it seemed like everything was easy peasy. Yeah. Yeah. So going forward, I, w I was breathing a little bit too easy as well. Yeah. I was not prepared. 
That's exactly what happened. I went back to Violet City and I checked the trees there. Like I went and headbutted the trees to see if I could catch another Pokemon. And I ran into Hoot Hoots and Executes. And then I went online and I was like, can I find anything else? And the answer is yes, with a big asterisk. Oh. And the asterisk is there are different encounter tables now. What? So instead of just being an encounter table like it was in Generation 2, it was like when you hit a tree, you have this list of Pokemon that can come out of the tree, right? Right. That was Generation 2. Yeah. Now... It is based off of a complicated math formula no. that uses your trainer ID to calculate what you can find and where. It's specifically for headbutting trees. Why math? I don't know. Why not something more fun? But I found out because of that that my encounter table for Violet City means I can only find Hoot Hoots and Execute. <laughs> wow. You did all that research and all that math for... Nothing. Yeah. To find out what it told you in the beginning. See, math is so dumb. But I got sad, and you actually kind of witnessed this, I think. I think I showed you, but I went, I got frustrated, and I went and fished instead. In you were Violet telling City. me about this, yeah. And then I fished up a polywag. Oh, yeah, you got a, you got a polywag. Yeah, and polywag's name is Slateport. <laughs> Fitting. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like polywag. I don't think I've ever, like, ran one. The yeah, whole I should. Time. I should but try. He seems like because Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, yeah. Poliwrath is the big mean one, right? Yeah. He seems like he would be a brood. Like he seems like he'd be pretty good. Not only that, but also this week we got access to Surf, which right, which means yes, we did. We can go down in uh, Slowpoke Well and get the King's Rock. Okay. And then I can trade my poly whirl to you and get a poly toad. Wait, can we still trade with the Nuzlocke? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, tra tra trading for the uh, benefit of, of, of evolving. You can't, okay. we couldn't like trade Pokemon. We couldn't Pokemon. trade Pokemon. Okay. Yeah. Um, I feel like we got surf early. Is this, was this normal or we is got this surf earlier? This, we got surf this week. Yeah. And then we got access to it after beating Morty. Is that what it was in the last game? Yep. Okay. I just feel like it was so soon. Yeah. But, okay. It does feel soon, but I think Gen f or Jim 4, not Gen 4, <laughs> Jim 4 is about when we get Surf normally. Okay. Jim 4 or 5. Uh, let's see. We get Surf after beating, well, I guess, in the first generation. It wasn't until we beat Fuchsia. So that's like gym six. That's why I felt like it was just too early in this game. I thought we had to work a bit harder for Surf. Yeah. But in Gen 2, it was after Morty because uh, Chuck okay. is next, right? Oh, we're just flying through this game. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Chuck is next, then Jasmine, Price, and and uh, I almost called her Kylie, Claire. <laughs> I was like, All what? Right, What's Claire. her name? Okay. Okay. Yeah. But after we get the berry pots, <laughs> back, backtracking here, mm -hmm. after we get the berry pots, I went up Route 37 and, oh, and I caught Poliwag uh, in Violet City, but uh, go back up to Route 37 and I caught a Stantler. Me too. And I named my Stantler Scaraboo because I love that name. I love that name. It should have been Scaraboo. It should have been Scaraboo. Like, what, what a clever freaking pun. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So, I named my Stantler Elvis because I'm still oh. going with musical artists. And I oh. thought it would be just like a cool name for a Stantler. So, Elvis the Stantler. Yeah. He's cool. Anyway. And and it's fun because he can, I think he can learn Uproar and he can learn Hypnosis. I'm so he could loving sing you, Uproar. He could sing you some hard rock or he could sing you a nice yeah. little lullaby. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> uproar has been my hoot hoots just like yeah saving grace i love uproar it's a good move i don't know if you know this probably and not. it doesn't matter so much on noctowl but uproar if you're using uproar a pokemon can't go to sleep yeah or if you put a pokemon to sleep and then you use uproar immediately after it fucking wakes them up does it yeah oh. i learned that the hard way oh no 
But <laughs> more than once because I forgot. If you think about it, that means that when we run into Snorlax, all you got to do is uproar and it'll keep it from resting. That's fair. I like that little tidbit yeah, right? of info. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, made it to Ecritique without... Oh, let's talk about the people who are along here. Sorry, Route 37. Uh, Route 37 has twins, Tori and Till. Tor- Tori, Till. Till, Till Tori. Till Toria? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the pun is there. Normally they have a pun. Yeah. They have a Meryl and a Marie. Easy. Easy Level 16 peasy. apiece. Uh, Beauty Callie has a Clefable and a Wigglytuff, and Beauty Cassandra has a Wigglytuff and a Clefable. I actually wrote about these guys. Where was it? Uh, oh, yeah. Made it to Acritique without much trouble from the peanut gallery, thanks to Scyther and Ekans, including the two fools who each have a Wigglytuff and a Clefable. The only issue that I had with those two is that they have so much health. Really? Do you remember Wigglytuff and Clefable? I remember them. I just don't remember having a hard time with them. I, I didn't. I didn't necessarily struggle. They just have a lot of health. That's Took a all. long time to kill? Yeah. I don't remember. And then finally, there's Psychic Greg, who's uh, down. There's the three little... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ap- Apricorn trees. Yeah. And then one Psychic Greg. I didn't find him till way later. <laughs> he's got a drowsy. He's got a drowsy. And that's it. Yeah, he's not a cool dude. But I forgot about him. I didn't even see like that little opening in the trees till much later. Right. Because I went straight to the city. Uh, just after getting into town, I got the dowsing machine, item finder. Mm-hmm. I, it's so useful. It's a great choice for the improved item registry, which we haven't talked about yet. It's a great addition to the game. What's the item registry? What I was talking about before, when you register two items, oh, they okay. go right to your your. Uh, so you can have the bike and the item finder mm-hmm. on the It's So the good. What a smart idea. I wish that they yes, kept... Yes, I agree. I'm going to try it. <laughs> I wish that they kept this version of item registry. They kind of keep it in that you can register four items, but what they do is you have to hold a button and then press one of the uh, direction. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That, I get it. Yeah. And so like that's like, okay, but I really wish that they kept this set up going into black and white which oh. they don't <laughs> so that's too bad uh i also have a note here for myself to talk about following pokemon because it's week four and we haven't really brought them up you mean the pokemon that follow you the, Pika- the pokemon that follow us the, you almost said pikachu the pikachu that, the follows, pikachu that follows you because well that's what it's based on yes. pokemon yellow yeah and pikachu which i love you. yes i love it they're so Me too. cute so all 400 and whatever Pokemon that are available up to this point in these games can follow you. All of them. All of them. Nice. So they all have a little overworld sprite and they all have their own personalities when you talk to them. Like Scyther will uh, get really excited when we're in the forest. I went back down to Ilex Forest to get him headbutt and (laughs) he got super excited being back in a forest really yeah like i oh. talked to him i don't know if you've talked to your pokemon not who really you. no in different environments they will react differently i gotta try this out yeah okay it's really cool like they they put a lot of time and effort into this like one little uh mechanic that obviously most people are probably going to overlook because it was something important in Pokemon Yellow yeah. because you had to be checking in with Pikachu. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they've added it to all the Pokemon. But they've added game. it to all Pokemon. Cute. Okay, I gotta try this out. I don't know if they can, like, pick up items for you or anything like that. Like, I don't think it's, like, a Pal Park kind of thing. But Pal Park was, like, leading up to this. What? I just did it with my Stantler. Yeah. And he looked every direction and he, it said, Elvis is wandering around. Okay. I'm going to do this all the time. Yeah. That's really cute. Isn't it cute? That's cute. It's amazing. I love it. It's, it's such a good addition. I can't believe it t- took me to week four to talk about it. After doing everything in, or not everything. Doing <laughs> After everything After getting to Ecritique and healing at the Pokemon Center, which by the way, we meet Bill. Yes, we meet Bill. Yeah. And Bill is like, hey, I'm going to go back home 
uh, to Goldenrod. See ya. Yeah. Uh, it's like, okay. Okay, bye. Yeah. Weirdo. Nice to know. See you later. It is kind of cute that he talks about uh, the lady from Hoenn, though. Yeah, the other person yeah, who he, made the... He's like, uh, she's made so many advancements to the Pokemon box and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, that's that's neat, because obviously they didn't have that in Generation 2. Uh, so I went to the west, and I caught a Meowth on Route 38. And Meowth's name is Lily Cove. Lily Cove. Because it's Meowth. the rich and snooty neighborhood of oh, Hoenn. I oh, mean, of a certain of region. somewhere we've never heard of before. Yeah, that I've never been. Wow. <coughs> wow, wow. But, wow. <laughs> but he's got the charm, so he's like all rich. Oh, cute. Okay, it, I love Meowth. Yeah, me too. I caught. I'm considering oh, go going to Persian, but I haven't yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Sorry, you caught. I caught a Tauros. You did? I did. I was looking for a mill tank, but I didn't find one. And the first thing I found was a Tauros. That's so rare. That's awesome. I know. I was very excited. I didn't even know this was up here. I was expecting a mill tank. And I was a little bit disappointed at first, but then I was like, you know what? Tauros is freaking awesome. Is that why your caterpillar never turned into a butterfly? (laughs) No, my caterpillar never turned into a butterfly is a different story. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I found a Tauros. On Route 39, uh-huh. I also found a Tauros. No way. Yeah. So you have one too. I have one too. <gasps> we are so cool. What did you name yours? Or do you want to keep it to the end if you used it? Uh, Well, I, I did, but I can tell you what his name was anyway. That's okay. We can wait. Rydell, after the cycle store. Rydell. In a certain region. In a different region, <laughs> yeah. I named mine Freddie Mercury. Oh, nice. Yeah, because yeah. it's cool. Anyway, that's it. They're... I'm excited to have a Tauros. Yeah, I love too. Tauros. They're so cool. I like Tauros a lot. And so... I agree. It's not as tanky as Miltank, and obviously doesn't get milk drink. Yeah, but... but... <laughs> <laughs> Very strong. Yeah, I'm excited. So if I didn't get a Miltank, this is this is a good second best, I think. Yeah. Is there anywhere else to catch a Miltank? It's so funny that we both caught... It really is. Uh, yeah, Route 39, where I caught my Tauros. Oh, okay, so I, can, I still have a chance. Yeah, uh, and the reason why I was able to catch Tauros is because I kept running into Meowths on Route 39, and I was like, oh, I already caught one on Route 38, and then like it was like Meowth, 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 Tauros, and I was like, nice! Nice! It was the very first thing I ran into. Yeah, I definitely thought I was going to get a Magnemite. Because Magnemite I ran into a Magnemite common. after. Yeah, I ran into Magnemite after I caught my Tauros. Yeah. Too. But it would have been nice to have Magnemite because Magneton would be really That'd be cool. helpful. I've never used one. But I'm not going to say no to a Tauros. Yeah, I'm not angry. I didn't go to 39. Once I caught the Tauros, I was like, hey, let's turn around and just go train. Okay. I went to the burn tower after that, and then I trained up, and that was all I did. Yeah. Did you do the dance theater? Oh, I went to the dance theater. Okay, yes. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Yep, I did. Yeah. I beat up a mean old Team Rocket in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. I actually wrote about that. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I went to the dance place to take on the Kimono <laughs> Girls. What a disappointment. It was one rocket and that's it. I wanted to fight the Evolutions. I know. That's what I wrote. I was so disappointed in this as well because I loved the dance theater in the first... Or I guess the second game? Yeah. Yeah, second game. Because you got to fight all the evolutions. Yeah, exactly. But now we this fight... This was strange. One, one rocket grunt who was like, you don't dance very well. And then he gets on stage and starts dancing. Yeah. I was like, what is this? Why did you ruin it? Yeah. Ridiculous. It was dumb. Uh, but oh, once well. you beat the rocket grunt, that's when you get surf. You get surf from an old dude who was like, yeah. I'm too lazy to go beat him. I'm just going to sit here and watch what happens. Yeah. It's like, okay, Thank you for dude. taking care of him. Here's Surf. Here's Surf. Now leave me to my kimono girl. <laughs> yeah. Strange. Uh, I went to the east and ran into a hiker who gave me strength. Nice. And then I said the HM, not the platitude. Okay. I was going <laughs> to ask. He gives me strength. He gives you strength. And uh, there was also a TM for Shadow Claw. Oh, yeah, you told me to go get that. That was the only thing I did on that side. I went and picked up the Pokeball, Shadow Claw, and then went back. And then uh, over by Moo Moo Farms. I didn't make it there yet. So there's Sailor Harry, who's got a whooper. Okay, you easy. You probably faced him. No, I didn't. 
No? No, I didn't talk to anybody down here. I oh, okay. got Shadow Claw then. Oh, I, I mean to the back back where you caught Tauros. Okay, was he the first one in the grass? Yeah. Because I didn't go on the path, I went up to the grass. Yeah, he's yeah. the first one in okay. the grass. I think I fought one or two in here. Okay, so Sailor Harry's the first guy that you see okay, coming I out probably left. fought him. Then there's last Dana, who's got a Flaffy. Yes, and a I remember Flaffy. Yeah. And she'll give you her number. There's a bird keeper, Toby, who's also a YouTuber, and that's cool. <laughs> I don't think I got that far. And he's got three Doduos. No, I did not get 16, that 17, 18. Ooh. Very easy. Good for my Tauros to train up on. Nice. Uh, school kid Chad is a total Chad. Uh, <laughs> He's got oh a Mr. No. Mime, and he'll give you his number, too. And then Beauty Valerie, uh, she was annoying because she was, she's like one of those ones who's like, hey, you little cutie, or whatever, and then you beat her up, and then she's like, I can't believe you would disrespect your elders like this, or Gross. whatever. And she's got a hop hip and a skip loom. And it's like, oh, Skiploom gives me, gives my Scyther some nice juice. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to Moo Moo Farms, though, and use the dousing machine, you can find a nugget. Okay, good to know. Can you find a mill tank? That's uh, what I really want to know. Yes. Okay, perfect. And I'm feeding their milk tank, mill tank who's, who's sick. Yes. Berries. I remember that. Uh, okay. There's also the... TM for Drain Punch over here, which is a fighting type move that okay. acts like Mega Drain. Punch. Mega Drain, Mega Punch? Mega, Just a Mega, mega Move? Cool. Mega Drain. Mega Move. Uh, oh, right. I went to Mount Mortar. You went everywhere this which, week. Which is where the, the hiker comes out of to give you strength. I haven't gone anywhere. I went in there, ducked around the, the little entrance area for yeah. a little bit, and I caught a mat chop. Oh, cool. And his name is Duford. Duford. Yeah. Jeez. That's where the fighting gym is in a Somewhere. particular region. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, mm, nice. Matchup is nice. All I did was go to the burn tower. Ah, oh, dang. What? Because okay. Route 39, that, remember I said that it was a funny week? Yes. It's because of something on Route 39. Do you mind if I talk about it? No, Route go ahead. Okay, I'm not going to talk about the whole route. I'll just talk about this one guy. Okay, one guy. His name is Pokefan Derek. Okay. And he's got Pikachu. Pokefan Derek on Route 39 is a cool dude. He took my number and said that it's so that we could talk about Pikachus, Slowpokes, and Tentacools. No. And when I called, standing right beside him, he told me that he could sense that I was close because I give off an aura of affection for all things Pokemon. The cult of Tentacruel has started fresh in a new region. He didn't say that. Yeah. He said the cult of Tentacruel? No, I said oh, the you cult said of that. Tentacruel. He said I give off an aura of affection for Pokemon. Gross. And it's true. Don't give anything to Tentacruels. My catch for Route 39 was Tauros, like I said. Mm -hmm. This is a double upset. <laughs> <laughs> First, that I had already used the name Oldale... Because that would have been perfect for Tauros, because then he would have been Old Ale Town Road. <laughs> but secondly, because I wanted to use my newly evolved Weeping Bell, and now I can't. Because Why obviously not? I gotta take the bull by the horns. Oh my gosh. I named him Rydell, and I immediately ran into a far fetched after catching Tauros. Oh, did you? Yeah. And I wanted... You've been waiting for a far fetch. I know. I Dang was like, it. oh, shoot. Well, that's fine. At least at least it wasn't like something useless. A mill tank. It would have been fine if it was a Magnemite. I would have liked a far fetched but Tauros is great. Tauros is cool. I also went to the Burn Tower. It was easy and short. Yeah. Yeah. Except Arrival is there. Yes. Yeah. But first I ran into a coughing... <laughs> I ran into a coughing as well. I caught it. I caught it too. My coughing's name is Mount Chimney. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> My coughing's name is Cher. Cher? <laughs> yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't even try. Just, just mellow in that. Just leave it. I like it. Yeah. Yes. Zilver. So hard. If, Our stupid rivals are so hard this game. If you go to Olivine City, 
which I did make it to. It's just at the, the very south end of Route 39. And go to the Pokemon Center. Zilver comes out of it and okay. says, I already told you, I'm not wasting my time on weaklings like you. And I was like, what? When did you tell me this? Yeah, I don't remember this. And then you go back to the burn tower and he's there. Does he fight you? <laughs> and he'll fight you. And then he says... I'm I'm through wasting my time oh, on weaklings. Oh, so you did it. Okay, you I did it backwards. Ahead. Yeah. And I, I was thinking if you went there and he said that to you and then you go to the burn tower, maybe he just wouldn't fight you. Is that a loophole around that him? That would have been cool. No, that would have been nice. Well, that's exactly, I hate fighting him. <laughs> that's exactly what I wrote. I said, it's funny that that trigger exists without prior triggers being tripped. Yeah. Zilver took some... Uh, oh, Right, Zilver took some switching to take on, but nothing yeah. was too tough. Nothing was like too tough in the, like in the fact that anything died. Right, I didn't lose anybody to <clears throat> Katy Perry, but it was still like she got him low. Yeah, but I felt like I was stronger. I had a couple Pokemon that outleveled theirs, and it was okay. For you, Katy Perry would have had Ghastly level twenty, Zubat level twenty. Magnemite level 18, and Quilava level 22. The hardest part of Ghastly was Confuse Ray. Yeah. And then Magnemite, I think, was the hardest thing on Zilver's team. For me, it's the same team except Bayleaf instead of uh, Quilava. Quill boy. And Magnemite was the hardest part of his team for me because I don't have fighter or fighting. I don't have fire. I have... My Nitto has a fighting move. Right. But that's it. Right. But I have no way to counter steal. So electric, not very hard. Yeah. Especially because if you have a ground move, you can take care of electric pretty Electric's easy. Electric's fine. But Magnemite, uh, oh, Magnemite has Magnet Pull. I thought it would have Levitate. I didn't even try to use a ground type move. Shoot, that would have taken care of it. I well, that's remember. disappointing. Anyway. <laughs> Live and learn the theme yeah, was, of this week. I basically was just like, well, it has levitate, so I can't attack it with a ground type move. So I, w I just basically hit it to death by... So what I did is I brought Arbok out. I glared him, which paralyzes. And then I used Screech, Screech, Screech. And then I brought out someone else and, and hit him to death. Nice. And that's how I took care of Magnemite. And then I got into Bayleaf. And Bayleaf was easier because I had poison type moves. So Bayleaf is weak to poison and bug. Bayleaf is weak. We're going to leave it there. I do not love my Bayleaf. How did you... Well, I mean, his Bayleaf was pretty tough because it had Reflect and Synthesis. So does mine. Those are good moves. Do, does yours have Magical Leaf? No. It has Razor Leaf and razor leaf is good too, though. Poison Powder. Yep. So, so the only move that was different is that he had Magical Leaf yeah. and you have Razor Leaf. I have leaf. Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf is actually technically better. Magical Leaf just doesn't miss. That's all. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Quilava. Your Quilava would have had Flame Wheel, Ember, Quick Attack, Smoke Screen. All he got to use was two Flame Wheels and then I killed him. Very nice. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for me too. Nice. Uh, then we... Meet Yusin, uh -huh. the the weird dude. Weird dude. We'll leave it there. Yeah. And we go into the basement and find the legendary dogs. Mm -hmm. And then the dogs they run, run off. Away. And I'm then so sad. Yusin is like, "Oh my god, go into the basement! I wish I thought of that." <laughs> I know. Brilliant. Like, the funny thing is, is when you walk into Burn Tower, you can see right into yeah. the basement. You see all three of them standing there. Yeah. It's like, dude. Okay. <laughs> there are two fire breathers in here. One's named Ned. He's got a coughing, a Growlithe, and a coughing. And the other is Richard, and he's got a Charmeleon, level 18. Yeah, Charmeleon. First time you see him. Yeah. Both very easy. Yeah. I've got two water types on my team, so. No worries. No worries at all. Derek called me. Nice. <clears throat> after I was done in the burn tower. What did he want? He offered me a nugget. Whoa! In what I'm Jeez. calling the first tithe, the cult life chose me. <laughs> no! I will grow my flock. I don't like no, this. No, my swarm, and we will be known as the Bloom. 
because that is a group of jellyfish. Gross! I hate this. It is a bloom of jellyfish. You join a cult and he gives you a nugget. The bloom of Tentacruel is swarming. I hate this so it's much. It's amazing. It's gross. I love it. You disgust me. I got a, I got two nuggets this week. Two? And I went and filled up on some good shit. <laughs> lemonade. Yes. Disclaimer. He's talking about good lemonade. Good shit lemonade. Our first... Unofficial. Unofficial... <laughs> sponsor in the Sponsor of our uh, podcast. We're going to take a quick break and we will be back with Morty's Gym. Because I believe that's, that's all it. we did this week. Let's do it. Welcome back from our break, Pokemon Master Jaylee, Sylveon Trainer Jaylee, Eeveelution Gym Leader Jaylee, Hapini Hater Jaylee, the trainer formerly known as Ninja Master Jaylee, <laughs> unknown Hunter Jaylee, Tentacruel Lover Jaylee, of oh course. My God. Welcome to the Bloom. No! We I am are not back from in our break. Bloom. And Welcome back from our break, Poker fans and Pokemaniacs. Welcome all of you to the Bloom as well. Stop. No. Will you please allow his appendages N to Ew. grace you? No, we will not. No, I don't like this. No cult. See, it doesn't matter if you don't like the cult. The cult happens. No. The cult is around you. It is not. It surrounds you, much like the crown of a jellyfish. Oh my god. We are talking about Morty's gym. Yes. In Ecrutique City. Yes, let's talk about the gym, please. It is weird. It is cool. Yeah. It is such an adventure. Way different than Gen 2, where it was just like a bunch of people in a line. Amazing and you just had upgrade. To snake around where they were looking. It reminds right? me of old school Rainbow Road because you can fall off the edges. Yeah. And boy, did I fall off the edges. Did you? Oh, yeah. I only did once, right at the end. Once. I did like 15 times. <laughs> I, I fought the first uh, medium lady. Yes. Not a small lady, a medium lady. <laughs> and then I couldn't figure out how to go around her because I didn't realize there was a space behind her. Right. So I tried going like each way, like east and west yeah. of every little block. So I'd go down and then east and west and keep falling off. And I was like, how do I get around this lady? Do I have to push her? And it took me forever to realize that once you beat her, you can take a step behind her and go around her. Yeah. And then I kept like falling off everywhere else. <laughs> Where it gives I fell you, off? It gives you little hints before it turns off the lights. Yeah. Because once you approach them, they have light around them. They're holding candles. So it shows you where to go. But then yeah. once you once you beat them, the candles go out and it's dark. Right. I like this gym a lot. Right. That's cool. Where I fell off was right here. This lady, you have to like walk around. And I just didn't know oh. how far up I had to walk. Yeah. So I walked right off. Nice. <laughs> And into the darkness. Uh, it's the fourth fourth medium. That's the one that I, I fell off of. There are four mediums in here. Medium Georgina, Medium Grace, Medium Edith, and Medium Martha. I'm surprised that they took the, um, the, the priests out. The guys who had the rosaries and they were like doing this. They were in his gym the first time around. Who are they? The channelers? Channelers, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird that they took them out. Yeah, and it was just like cute little old ladies. Yeah. Creepy little old ladies. Georgina has, at least they're not doing like this thing now. Yeah. Right? I like them with oh. the candles. <laughs> I like the candles. Yeah, now they're just doing it like this. Uh, Georgina has four, five Gastlies. Yes. All level 16. Yeah. Medium Grace had two level 20 Haunters. Medium Edith had one level 22 Haunter. And Medium Martha... How did you say that name? Had two Ghastlies, one level 18, one level 20. That scared me. What was that? And one Haunter level 20. It was Batman. That scared me. From, uh... From Batman. From Batman vs. Superman. That was scary. <laughs> Save Martha! That's what oh Superman God. says when... Batman's like killing him and then he goes, why did you say that name? And then it's like, wow, our moms have the same name. So, wow. so clearly <laughs> Superman's not dangerous anymore. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> um, I was pleasantly surprised by this gym. Yeah. I was anticipating a lot of anger and death and bad vibes. Yeah. I loved it. 
because it wasn't hard. Yeah. It was nice. I was using it to train one of my Pokemon up. Me too. Yeah. I only or ended two up using Pokemon, two really. Pokemon in this gym. Yeah? Yep. That's it. For these mediums, I mm -hmm. used two Pokemon as well. For the whole gym, even Morty. For Morty, I used about five Pokemon. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. And that's okay. because of the outcome oh, no. of Morty's fight. Oh, no. Really? I had yeah. a good time in here. Morty was fine for me. Yeah? Yeah. Morty was fine for me, too, technically, until Gengar. Oh, no. Really? Gengar? Gengar's his ace, right? Is that the level Gengar 25? Is his ace. Gengar is his level 25. I was so scared when he came out, but no, I beat him so fast. I was so surprised by this gym. That's very lucky. I know. Should we talk about the Pokemon that we took in? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. These are the Pokemon. Oh, do you want to go first? Or do you want sure, to go I'll go first. Okay, sure. um, I took in Jay-Z, my level 17 Rattata. I'm going to pause there for a second. This is why the Caterpillar never turned... Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is why the Caterpillar never turned into a butterfly. Because I asked you when Rattata evolved. You said 16. Yeah. Mine didn't. He's level 17. He's a Rattata. Maybe, I was I was 18? waiting because he turned to level 17. He turned to level 16 during a battle. And I was like, yeah, he's going to evolve after. And he didn't. And then he turned to level 17. And he didn't. Maybe 18. I okay. thought it was 16, but... Also, I brought in Hoot Hoot second stage. Noctowl. Noctowl. Level 25. <laughs> Gerard, wait. Um, these levels are post-gym. I brought in my level question mark. I didn't write it down. Bayleaf, Burt McCracken. Didn't use him. Not, not important. Right. Uh, Stantler, level 14. Elvis. I brought in Avril, my level 21 Quagsire. Nice. And I <laughs> brought in Nellie, my misgendered Nidorina. I did it again. Level 18. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I did this, this, I did this, like, how many times in these stupid games? You're so funny. I just never know. Yeah. So, I well, mean. blue is girl. Obviously. Is and I know the symbols, too. I just did it again. That's so funny. I think because the sprites, I see blue, and I'm like, that's boy. <laughs> and pink is girl. I think that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So, I just assumed, but, oh, jeez. Anyway, that was my team. What's your team? My team that I beat Morty with is Route 101, level 23 <laughs> Raticate. Rydell, my level 22 Tauros. <gasps> Pacific Log, my level 23 Arbok. And Safari, my level 21 Scyther. You're all over level 20. I'm so yeah. proud of you. Yeah. You'll notice but that I wait, only said four Pokemon. But wait, there's something missing. There's two missing. There are two missing. Do we have to talk about... In memoriam, Petalberg, my level 22 execute. Not a loss. I'm okay with that. I was sad about it. Yeah. You, it were, you were raising it up. Yeah. It was your baby. So what happened is I was trained. It's a psychic grass, right? And these guys are ghost poison. So I'm weak to poison, but they're weak to psychic. Mm -hmm. I figured it was... a a fine trade, mm -hmm. right? And like I said, I was doing totally fine until we got to Ghastly. And Ghastly, Ghastly did it? Or not Ghastly, Gengar. Gengar. Gengar, okay. And Gengar is so fast. And it used Shadow Ball. And Ghost is also super effective against Psychic. My Gengar didn't get to use Shadow Ball. I'm so sorry. I'm Execute not, I'm, I won't was gloat. killed by Shadow Ball. No. Outright. Didn't even get get to heal it or anything. It just killed it. I'm so sad. And then I made the mistake of not sending out my Tauros, mm -hmm. which would have wouldn't have been affected by Shadow Ball. Mm -hmm. In fact, I don't think there's anything Oh no, Sucker Punch. I was gonna say I don't think there's anything that it could have done against my Tauros, but Sucker Punch can still hurt. But instead, I sent out my second in memoriam which is Little Root, my level 23 Croconaw. <gasps> no! Yeah. You lost him? In one shot. <gasps> one Shadow Ball. 
You... And it sucks because that's who I taught Shadow Claw to. That's why he was coming out. Because <gasps> he had Shadow Claw and he had Bite. And I was like, both of those are super Absolutely. effective. Absolutely. That's your starter baby. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm upset. Oh, no. I was still going to make the joke that I wasn't going to use him in the Elite Four, but now I literally can't. <laughs> you had to box your starter. Like, I didn't box him. No, he's, no, but yeah. box him. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, I'm so sorry. And so those are my main memoriams. I, the Execute, I can live without, but the Croconaw really hurts. It hurts. It stings. I lost my Radita to his Haunter. My Radita who didn't evolve. Yeah. I lost him to his Haunter. And that's all I lost this week. My um, notes here mm -hmm. say that Haunter with Hypnosis, Curse, and Nightmare was tough. Mm -hmm. But Gengar got a double kill. I should have switched in one of my two normal types. But instead, I acted brazenly like God couldn't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> And like Gengar couldn't judge me. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not your starter. I even, I even drew a, a sad face. Yep. A crying face. I'm sad. I'm so sad. I can't believe it. Your starter. My post Morty hours 2140. 1252. Very nice. How am I so far behind you? And my Pokemon, Pokedex number is 28 caught, 84 seen. 19 caught, 77 seen. Always, always one step behind. Or like 11 steps behind. I didn't even think about catching a Pokemon in Ecrotique. There's headbutt trees here. Are there trees? Yeah. Okay, we'll have to go I wonder if that. I could find like a Pineco or something interesting. What's a Pineco? Exactly. Oh, neat. Neato. Neato, friends. Pineco or Ladyba, I guess, would be another one that I can find. Something to fill the hole in your heart from your losing your starter Pokemon. Yeah. That's the worst. At least I kept Tauros. That yeah, been absolutely. I have. I didn't even bring my Tauros out. I was like, I'm not losing you. I want to have some fun. It's, it's so funny that actually, like, looking at this, my team that I brought into this, only one Johto Pokemon. Radicate, Tauros, Arbok, Scyther, Execute, Croconaw. <laughs> yeah, really. All Kanto Pokemon, <laughs> except for Croconaw. But next week, we have a lot that we can do. Okay, good. Because we have access to Surf now. Yeah. So we can go to the basement of Union Cave and also further into Slowpoke Well. Uh, we can get King's Rock, so I can trade up my Slowpoke, who I boxed this week. Okay, yeah. Uh, because I was like, uh, he's got a site. He's got confusion, but I wanted to train up execute. Mm -hmm. I should have just kept him out. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I have a king's. We can get a king's rock this week, so maybe I could either trade him to get a slow king, or yeah. I could wait until I evolve Poliwhirl. That's true. And then I could get a. Polytoad. I want to see Polytoad in action. Yeah. I feel like he would be a beast. We can also go get nuggets from Route 34 and 35 because we have Surf. We can go to the basement of Union Cave. We can't catch the Lapras that's down there, but we can no. fight it on Fridays. Okay. And there's other Pokemon down there like Onyx. We got options. Doesn't matter. We got options. We... And you have a chance to get something on Route 39. Miltank. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Or a Magnemite. Or a Farfetch. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to be picky because right. don't get attached is the goal. Is the goal. They all die in the end. Cool. <laughs> That's so sad. <sighs> it is. I also look forward to meeting Bauba next week. Bauba is a new character. Bulbasaur? <laughs> Bauba is a new character. He is the Safari Zone director from Kanto, and he has moved here to open a Johto Safari Zone for us. There's a Safari Zone? Now there is. <gasps> Let's go. Yeah. Okay, there's lots to do. I'm excited. Yeah. We're going to be headed towards the Olivine Lighthouse in Olivine City, obviously, and then across the ocean to Sienwood. Nice. Okay, this game is moving fast. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Yeah, but we're going to talk about Pokemon Academy next. Let's do it.
this week we're talking about Gengar. Yay! That bastard. His Japanese name is Gengar. Okay. Easy to see what his... Fitting. Where his name comes from. He is number 94 in the national decks and is the shadow Pokemon. It's a ghost and poison type. Gengar was one of the very few Pokemon who got both a Mega Evolution and a Gigantamax form. Lucky. The other Pokemon were Kanto starters. <laughs> oh. I think that's it. I might cool. be right about that. I, I might remember. be right. <laughs> As we discussed in Alakazam's entry for the Who's That trivia, Gengar's base stat total is 500 points. This puts it on par with Pokemon like Ampharos, Bronzong, Claydol, and Rapidash. Strong. I chose one Pokemon from every generation. Nice. <laughs> that we're up to. Gengar's highest stat is its special attack, which meant very little in the Generation 2 games, but obviously means a lot more after the physical special split of Gen 4, and it gave Gengar some powerful special damage, ghost, and poison type moves, which we saw one of yep. this week. Oh, who killed your Rattata? Hunter. Hunter with... Oh, we slept him, and then I kind of took advantage of, like, oh, he'll... Oh, I got a couple moves to live, so I just kept him up and tried to wake him up. And the Dream Eater. Or Dream whatever. Eater and Nightmare. Yeah. 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 Sorry. I should have switched him out, but <laughs> whatever. He wasn't evolving anyway. He didn't like me. Gengar is one of Ken Sugimori's favorite Pokemon, supposedly because he's quite easy to draw. He's just cute in his weird little way. Yeah, Ken Sugimori is... I know. Oh, okay. I gathered that. Gengar is one of the first Pokemon ever encountered by trainers all over the world. What? Like, like us, Poke fans. Oh. This is due to the opening cinematic of the Pokemon Red, Green, and Blue games featuring a battle between Gengar and Nidorino, or Jigglypuff in oh, some yeah. cases. As well as the Pokemon anime's first episode... This is because Gengar and Nidorino were part of the original Capsule Monsters game design pitch. Oh, cute. Yeah. Did not know. Gengar might be based off the Cheshire Cat based on its grin and ability to disappear. It is also based off of distorted shadows that play tricks on your mind and can even frighten you. I personally think that it looks like an evil Clefable. It does. It kind of does. <laughs> Gengar gets its name from Doppelganger, a German word that is used to refer to a non-biologically related double of another person. Paranormally speaking, it is usually referring to an evil shadow version of someone, also known sometimes as a fetch, an apparition of a living person who appears to hinder or deceive you. Oh, creepy. Most of Gengar's Pokedex entries describe how it causes chills and enters your shadow to steal heat from the living. This is a common belief of the presence of ghosts as well. But one entry from Pokemon Moon tells us a different, far more sinister story. It apparently wishes for a traveling companion. Since it was once human itself, it tries to create one by taking the lives of other humans. Gengar was human? Right. And he kills people? Nice. To try and make a new Gengar? Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty cool. That's all I have on who's that? Gengar is human? I guess. Strange. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks for that. I have some Pokemon Pokedex trivia for you. Yeah. If you want it. Okay. Do you want it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Here. Now that there's a webcam. Yeah. People can catch you cheating. Oh, I was like, what are you? I thought you were giving me the finger. I was like, what are you No doing? way. Number one. This Pokemon has a secret devastating move. It rubs its blazing fur together to cause huge explosions. This Pokemon has a secret devastating move. It rubs its fur to create explosions? Yes. It rubs its blazing fur together to cause huge explosions do you have another one no that's it okay. i mean i can look some up if you need it it's just there's a lot of <laughs> it's a lot of info in that uh, okay is it 
uh, Del Fox. No, just just like listen to the second part. It's it rubs its blazing fur together to cause huge explosions. Yeah, that that could be Del Fox. Um. <laughs> okay, I'll get another one. Um, oh, and I took these entries from Heart Gold Soul Silver entries. Oh, okay. Well, then it can't be Del Fox. Del Fox isn't in Heart Gold Soul Silver. <laughs> If its rage peaks, it becomes so hot that anything that touches it will instantly go up in flames. Oh, jeez. Typhlosion? Yes! Okay. See? Explosion. I was <laughs> okay. trying to like, right. spell yeah. it out for you. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Number two. Mm-hmm. Whenever this Pokemon is being scrutinized at or if it feels threatened, it'll start drilling a hole with its tail in an attempt to escape from underground. <laughs> Done sparse. Yeah, why are you laughing? Because it's a cute story. It's funny. Number It's th- based on a Tsuchinoko or something like that. It's like a flat snake. It's weird. Ew, yeah, it flies. Anyway. Weird. Something th- like that. Number three. Mm-hmm. If you think that you had a good dream, but you can't remember it, this Pokemon has probably eaten it. Drowsy. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that dude. Yeah. I he hate eats dreams every He's night. He's gross. Yuck. Yeah, because I can never remember my dreams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never. Number whatever heck number we're on. This six-legged Pokemon is easily capable of transporting an adult in flight. The wings on its tail help it stay balanced. Yanma. Yan Mega. Yeah, okay. that one. Nice. Last one. Are you ready? Okay. Yep. This vicious Pokemon is said to have flown in ancient skies while shrieking high-pitched cries. <laughs> uh, Aerodactyl. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Good job, you. <laughs> awesome. I didn't really have a theme. I just picked Pokemon that were in this, this game. Pokedex, eh? Hey? Yeah. Cool. I like it. It was Thank good. You. Thank you. Those were fun. Those were fun. I really like doing those things with you. Me too. Let's make some more videos and do some more trivia. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Thank you. And thank you, Pokemaniacs, for joining us on this episode of our podcast. To keep up with our journey, follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Search Route to Victory Road Podcast. And we also have a Patreon where we've been <laughs> uploading all of our videos and behind-the-scenes content. Subscribe to have a little more RVR in your life at patreon.com slash route to victory road, where you will be watching this video. Our poker quote this week comes from Looker. What? We haven't met him because he was in Pokemon Platinum. Oh, everybody gets everything good with Pokemon Platinum. I know. Post game. I'm so sick of this shit. But he'll be in Pokemon Black and White, so nice. you'll meet him then. Spoilers. He is a Interpol agent. Okay. Who's trying to shut down all the evil organizations like Team Rocket and things evil. like that. Evil. I think he actually shows up in the post game of this game too, maybe. Oh. If if I can figure out how to unlock it for us, because it's like a we have to get like a special Celebi that opens oh end game for us. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. But we go and we like find it's like a whole end game thing. Remember how I told you that uh, Silver, our rival in this game, is Geo's son. Mm-hmm. We wait, whose son? Geo. The mysterious <laughs> gym leader's son. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I said it. I can't believe you said it almost twice. Almost twice. <laughs> mysterious eighth gym leader's son. Uh, well, that that is the story that like actually ties it together. And oh, it's cool. like, hey, this is true. Neat. And you go and you find his hiding that spot. That might be fun to do. Yeah, if I could figure out how to get us that cel- Celebi, okay. I will, I cool. will like upload it to us. And that'll... We have to have it in our team and go to a certain spot in Ilex Forest, the forest shrine, and then it'll like take us back in time oh, and we neat. do this whole story thing anyway. That sounds fun. So, but this is a quote from Looker in Pokemon Platinum. He says, in fact, he's quoting something that he's heard before, but he says, the more wonderful the meeting, the sadder the parting. That's true. Yeah. And sweet. And I wanted to say it about my oh, little no. guy today. Your starter. My starter. You lost your starter. I was going to, the, like, I, I was still undecided if I was going to, like, leave him out of my Elite Four team for the memes. You have to. But 
Now I have to. For the to. memes. Now I have to, and it's like, like, it's not like I would have included him, but it would have been nice to have the choice. <laughs> Do you want the full quote? The full looker quote? I have it here. Sure. It's, it's, it's kind of nice. He says, I also will take my leave. The more wonderful the meeting, the sadder the parting. That is a quote I heard many years ago in a foreign land. Its meaning? I understand it better now. Farewell, Melody, my friend. Long may you cherish your Pokemon. Not if they keep dying. No, <laughs> will not. <laughs> Anyway, this is this Nuzlocke that's what Looker says on his way out of Pokemon Plano. Cute. Thank you, everyone, so much for being our friends this week. We will see you next time on the route to Sianwood City and on the route to Victory Road. Three, two, one. Good. That was so on time. I know. We didn't even practice. Good timing. We're pretty good.